And here's a creepy morgue story. This writer writes in and says the cremation chamber, as you all know, naturally has an exhaust. So he was sleeping one night and his wife shook him awake. He got up, looked out the window and saw that the exhaust from the cremation chamber had thick smoke pluming out of it. Someone was being cremated, seeing as we're the ones that operate the crematorium and neither of us were there. This absolutely should not have been happening. So he had his wife call the cops while he went to check on things. A fire of over a thousand degrees was likely burning inside one way or another. He had to turn it off as quick as possible or at the very least get it under control. All the lights were off. The doors were locked as they were every night. He went inside and the retort was bright with flames. And as you know, that's the retorts, what they call the actual cremation chamber. Um, so he went inside, saw that, uh, there was absolutely nothing inside meticulously clean the cremation chamber each and every use. And while the flames alone would likely produce some kind of smoke, the smoke that they saw coming from the exhaust was kind of thick gray black smoke that could only be produced by something actually physically being burned. So he went to shut it off and around that time checked the windows and the uh, other doors and saw that everything was intact and locked. There is a ladder that leads to the ceiling exit, but it was also locked from the inside. The police showed up and took a report, but there was really nothing that could be done. It was attributed to someone having left the retort on before leaving, even though he and his wife both knew they hadn't done that. So that's one that they will forever ponder.